Diamonds win. Diamonds win. AFC Russian Diamonds 4, Cambridge City 1. The man of the match, of course, has to be the captain himself, number 8, Ryan Inman. And Ryan, wow, what a game. What a great response for Diamonds after Saturday. But Tuesday night, great win. I think you nailed it there. The response is the biggest thing for me that I'm proud of with this group. To get beat 7 and, and really be down in the dumps about that one. To respond literally three days later with a result like that is... Uh, a real testament to this group and, and honestly I'm buzzing about it. I, re I thought really Diamonds dominated the first 45 minutes for sure and you're leading 2-1 at halftime. Not a good start though. Uh, in Greece uh, scored in only the sixth minute. Yeah, really disappointing one because I felt like we made a really good start to the game and anyone who watched I thought we actually dominated for the first 10-15 minutes and then the goal was, it's a great finish, it's a bit of a, not fluke, but it's a, it's a really good finish, there's not much you can do about it and I think the biggest response is to go and get two goals back in the first half when we could have just rolled over, I think uh, again he's a massive testament to our uh, character. I think that was maybe Cambridge's only real true shot on goal the entire game. You're right. And uh, so you're right, in the uh, 31st and 35th minutes, a couple of really nice goals by Cairo Taylor and a debutante no less for Diamonds, Tariq Dallas. Uh, how about Tariq coming in He today? had a brilliant game and it's so hard to step in at centre back when you haven't played anyone any games. and don't know everyone's name. He was asking me names at half time. So to come in and do a job that he did was honestly brilliant. And it's a great goal. Um, I'm really happy to have him here. And as the old saying goes, Cairo Taylor scoring goals for fun. A nice game for Cairo as well. Yeah, there's no shock anymore with Cairo. He's got so much talent, that lad, and I can't speak highly enough of him. So uh, I must say, Ryan, at halftime, Diamonds are leading 2-1, but the way the season has been going for uh, Russians so far, uh, I was a little apprehensive, but man, you came out and really dominated the second half as well. And that's something that came from the management team. Start fast, don't let them have anything, get the third goal quickly. And we knew once we had the third, they were gone. Oh, exactly. And uh, you took, uh, personally, you took a couple of uh, hard knocks in the game, especially one uh, really rough tackle. That was early in the second half. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was right on top of the ankle. But luckily, I managed to get through it. Um, I wouldn't have got my penalty if not, so oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to stay on. And so there was no doubt in your mind you wanted to take the PK? Oh, no doubt. I, they couldn't have taken it off me. There was no way. And uh, we'll say that was a stone cold penalty, right? Yeah, right. oh, definitely, definitely. Also, a little before that, on about the hour mark, uh, one of the uh, Cambridge players, uh, let's see, it was uh, Liam Chadwick received the second yellow card, so that's another advantage for Diamonds to play a man up. Yeah, for absolutely. Match. And he, he's actually the one that tackled me. And I thought it was close to a red card. Fair enough to the ref. He didn't think it was quite a red. But when you go, when you get the advantage, you can't let your foot off the gaff. You can't sit back. So I think we did a really good job at punishing the ten men. And then uh, really to seal the deal, Jacob Scott with a goal in the 79th minute. Uh -huh. And uh, wow, with a three goal advantage, he's sort of uh, you were on cruise control after that. Absolutely, <laughs> game management at that point. I thought we did it really well. We didn't let them anywhere near our box for the last 20 minutes. So. Something that we need to move on to Saturday and take two as well. Saturday, uh, we're, we have another home match yeah. uh, against uh, Luffra Dynamo, so we can't take the foot off the pedal, can Absolutely. we? Absolutely, and I know they're a team that are from higher up in the division, but we've got to take this win and take confidence with it and do what we did a couple of months back, a couple of weeks back, and go on a run now and win a couple of games. All right, uh, one more, uh, maybe a personal question for you. Ryan, are you superstitious? Do you have any uh, little habits you do before a game? Or anything? Uh, a little bit. Well, I, I changed boots today, so I might have to stick with these ones today. So. Uh, yeah, I was doing everything different in my pregame preparation uh -huh. for tonight, and so it worked for both of so us. So we'll have to keep doing everything different then. All right, well, well done, Ryan. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you, Bruce. Michael, congratulations. It's a 4-1 win here at Hayden Road. Biggest home of the season and, well, as reactions go, that was a pretty good one. Yeah, definitely. We needed it. Um, look, like I said, it's a reaction and it's a full testament to this group of lads that we've got. They, you know, they, they obviously realised we weren't good enough at Saturday, but they've drawn an arm under it and gone and got a fantastic result. The character your side showed after being hit for seven on Saturday to come to this game, to play at the tempo they did. Some of the football's magnificent, especially after going a goal down as well. Yeah, it is. I said I'm lucky I get to see the boys do that week in week out and I know it's in there and look we have to realise they're a young group and there will be ups and downs and so obviously Saturday was a, was definitely a down but today was brilliant and from everyone that started to the boys that come on to the boys on the bench to the staff everyone was fully invested tonight and like I said definitely got a result there that we thoroughly deserved. You've made five changes to your starting lineup tonight I'm sure you've got an eye on those two games to come this weekend but what those changes are a response to what happened on Saturday or was it just simply a response to play availability? Um, it's, 
be honest, Joe, he had to be. He had to do reaction from Saturday, I think. Can't lose 7-1 and bolt balancing with the same team. So look, we made that and we obviously do know we've got a lot of games coming up in the next couple of weeks. But it's, it's testament to the boys that come in and boys that come out. But like I said, we're, we're brilliant and we're working hard and we're still in the dogfight at the moment and that's the main thing. Looking at the goals, a great finish from Cairo Taylor, our top scorer at it again. Uh, it's becoming a trademark finish, isn't it? Across the keeper into the far corner. Yeah, he's, he's really, like I said, he's really hit form at the right time for us. But you look at all of them, Big Tarot's come in today and been an absolute immense rock at the back for us, led the way like I knew he could do and he even got himself on the goal scoring sheet. And then with Scotty and everyone else, like I said, it, it's just that desire today that we had that we might be didn't have Saturday. But like I said, it just galvanises you now and you're ready for the next couple of games. You alluded to it there, an excellent defensive performance from the debutant. Uh, and, and, you know, he's got himself a goal, he's headed it, he's kicked it all night. Just a fantastic display. Yeah, that's what we, that's what, all we asked for him. That's what we asked of all of them, you know what I mean? Just put the ball in the right area, which we did. And like I said, he showed them good leadership qualities. Him and Jarvo at the back were brilliant, along with Scotty and Louis. Like I said, it's it's good to see because I know that good soft squads in there, they're good players. And you just when you see it come together and it clicks on the night like it has done, it is a to watch. They obviously went down to 10 when it was 2-1. But to give your side the credit, I don't think that red card really changed the game at all. You were just in full flow all evening. Yeah, if I'll be honest, I think, like I said, we started really well. We conceded again, but it was a good finish, to be fair. I think the turning point really was Jarvis's tackle in the corner. You know what I, mean? I think you've got a bit, they've got the tails up, got our tails up, and we just stepped on from there. We won every second ball. We were brilliant. Ryan, Tijan in there was brilliant today. Fraser coming back into the side, just got it on the ball and saying they're giving it to our creative players, and they're just creating a difference at the moment. And yeah, like I said, it was a night. A special moment for Ryan Inman to get his first goal for the club. He's the captain, he wears his heart on his sleeve, obviously travels quite a way to play for us, so he commits an awful lot to the club and to get the goal at the time that he did as well, to give us that two goal advantage, that was a massive boost. Yeah, he's been brilliant since coming, Ryan. He's been a leader on the pitch for us, what we needed at the time. And like I said, if he put in the boys through and he really, he's got the respect of the lads in there and it's brilliant because we can put our full trust in him and he'll do the job. And, that's what we want him to do. He's come in, he's been brilliant, and like I said, we're having him to get on the score sheet. Straight down the middle penalty, it's all you could ask for. And an excellent header from Jacob to round off the scoring as well. And just to touch on the set pieces for a moment, we had a lot of long throws, corners tonight. We have been accused early in the season as being a bit of a soft touch, but to you know be so successful at the moment as we are on set pieces, it, it's really important in non-league, isn't it? And you know we're performing them really well at the moment. Yeah, like you said, it's, it's just that, that desire to go and make things uncomfortable for the other team, which we definitely did with them long throws. We were with the, either getting corners or they were coming back out for keeping that pressure on and just keeping them camped in their box instead of us being camped in ours. And I said, it, it comes back down to that desire and that willingness to go and put your body on the line, which we did for Tarek and Jacob's goal. And I'm so happy because Scotty's been running that right back for him. It's out of the position for him. We know he can do a job, but he's been fantastic. And like I said, there's two goals for him now. And yeah, he's really thriving. Another home game to come this Saturday, Loughborough Dynamo coming to town, a side that we've played twice already this season. It was a while ago, but I'm sure you've got a much better idea of what you're coming up against this time. Now. Yeah, that's the thing. And I think at the moment, they need to come here and maybe worry about us, the way we're performing like that. And a result like that can turn tables. So look, we'll, we'll focus on ourselves. We'll, we'll do our homework on them like we always do. Oh, at the end of the day, we're at home, we're in the ascendancy. We've got to put in another performance like that. We battle, we will outwork teams and we will win football matches and like I said we've got six cup finals now we're still in it and oh it's, it's exciting mm. and it is registration deadline I believe this Thursday you obviously brought Tariq in for tonight are there any more in the pipeline before the, the deadline or are you happy with your squad um I'm happy with my squad at the moment when they're performing like that but look we'll try obviously look, we've got two days we can see what we can do but with the rules in the league with approaches we might not be able to get many over the line but We'll do a little bit, we'll get the score we've got and um, we'll push everything we've got. Congratulations on this big win tonight. Thank you. I don't need love.